Senator, when, when you were leaving uh, and were asked about writing a book about it, you said you couldn't ever write a book because the truth would be too awful. Now, you did, of course, write Making Peace, so you, you got over that. But, but that gives some idea of, I mean, you know, John says that you sat and you were polite to everyone, but you must have been thinking, what are these people like? I mean, did, how did you, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, you don't even need to answer, but I mean. Well, I'll, what, what, I'll make just a couple of points. On the, yeah. very, on the very first day, uh, some who were there will remember that David Irvine said to mm. me, he said, Senator, if you are to be of any use to us, you must understand uh, we in Northern Ireland. I said, what is it that I should understand? He said, uh, we would drive 100 miles out of our way to receive an insult. Mm. <laughs> and I, I thought it was a joke, but everybody in the room, <laughs> uh, everybody in the room nodded uh, uh, in agreement. The second point I made was that uh, I unwisely said on the first day, because I underestimated the, the length and difficulty of the task, that I told them that I'm a product of the United States Senate, which has a rule of unlimited debate. Any senator can stand up at any time and speak for as long as he or she wants on any subject, even... Don't tell them that, for heaven's sake. Well, I told them that. I, I said I've listed 18-hour speeches, 12-hour speeches. I've given a few five-hour speeches mm. myself, so I can list anything you guys can throw at me. Hundreds of times in the next two years, I regretted making that statement. 